That's how the American system of justice works. And it's reckless. It's dangerous. It's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. Our justice system has endured for nearly 250 years. And it literally is the cornerstone of America, our justice system. The justice system should be respected. And we should never allow anyone to tear it down. It's as simple as that. That's America. That's who we are. And that's who we'll always be, God willing. This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. At least one educated observer believes that Donald Trump has snapped and gone crazy after losing the 2020 election fair and square. And that qualified observer, the president of the United States, Joe Biden. President Biden didn't hold back. He believes that Donald Trump is reckless and dangerous and more reckless and dangerous than he was in 2020 or even 2016. And that if anybody was thinking about returning him to the White House, they should think twice. Now, a lot of the MAGA world believes that when finally, after staying quiet for the last year or more about the criminal troubles of, of uh, Donald Trump, that President Biden chose today uh, to uh, fire back and counterpunch Donald Trump because his son is on trial in Delaware for a couple of counts related to him acquiring a handgun during the, uh, the 11 days that he wasn't sober or something like that, uh, acquiring a handgun and keeping it for 11 days before he got rid of it on his own. Um, and I know that um, there's a sharp contrast to be drawn between, for instance, how the Biden family is rallying around Hunter Biden and how Donald Trump's family basically, except for a couple of the sons, basically have ignored him. Let's, let's put that stark contrast up on the board. You've got the first lady, Jill Biden, on her birthday, no less, attending the first and second day of Hunter Biden's trial in federal court in Delaware, along with his sister, Ashley, who is also subjected to MAGA torment, including them acquiring her personal diary, just like they tried to acquire his laptop and tried to make light of it for political sport. By contrast, Melania Trump, nowhere to be found, not just at any Trump trial, no arraignment, no trial, no civil trial involving E. Jean Carroll and the rape, the rape case, no fraud trial involving Donald Trump and fraudulent business practices, no trial related to his hush money business record fraud and election interference case. Not once. Not even at the moment when you think Melania and her appearance would matter most. When Stormy Daniels testified against Donald Trump about her sex act, that's the best way to put it, with Donald Trump, um, that would have been a moment you'd think if Melania supported her husband. And uh, as, uh, uh, as you would think, she'd be in the courtroom. She might even lay a hand, a gentle hand of mercy on Donald Trump's shoulder in front of the jury before she took her seat. But in order to do that, you'd have to actually attend the trial. And we know that Melania is, hasn't been seen in public with Donald Trump for almost two years not even at Mar-a-Lago, where she lives. By contrast, you've got the First Lady who's attending regularly the uh, trial of her son, Hunter Biden, and a couple of gun charges uh, led there. So for those like uh, that, are sur that are surrounding uh, Donald Trump, different spokespeople like Stephen Chung or, um, uh, or Jason Miller, who come out with statements like, well, Biden will do anything to distract from his son being put on trial. I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but I did not vote for Hunter Biden for president. I didn't vote for Joe Biden because he's a tremendous family man, although he is. I didn't vote for him because he recovered and regrouped around his family and protected them his entire life ever since he lost his wife and children in a car, in a car accident before he was even sworn into the Senate. I'm not voting for him based on his long civic duty and service to this country as the youngest senator, uh, on as a vice president for a young president in Obama, and then a president when it mattered most coming out of COVID. I'm voting for him because he is the man for the job. He's demonstrated based on his track record, his policies, domestic and foreign, his maturity, 
his seniority, his um, gravitas, that he belongs in the Oval Office and to be the leader of the free world. And by all accounts, Donald Trump has forfeited his entitlement to run for that office. Unless you like your presidents to be convicted felons who've committed persistent fraud in their business operations, has, have done tax evasion and tax avoidance schemes, have sexually attacked women and been adjudged as such by a, a jury who's been convicted or his companies have been convicted for over 51 felony convictions in the state of New York across two different juries where federal juries have con have adjudged him twice to be a defamer and, and have committed punitive damages, where four different grand juries have issued indictments against him, where a special purpose grand jury recommended his indictment, where attorney generals have recommended his indictment or found him to be an unindicted co-conspirator. If that's the brand of presidential candidate that you want, then, then this is a campaign speech or a campaign promo for Donald Trump. So for the, the alt-right and the MAGA-right to say that every time, finally, after two years of almost silence, for Joe Biden to finally recognize the obvious, that his main opponent and candidate against him for the presidency is a convicted felon, is somehow distracting from the fact that just by coincidence and serendipity, Hunter Biden is, is, being, uh, is being tried for some gun charges? during a dark period in his life, which everyone will acknowledge. What exactly would the uh, Trump family and those around him want uh, Joe Biden to do? Abandon his child in a time of need, the way that Donald Trump has? Abandon his family in a time of need? Um, chase after women? Sexually assault them? Or rally around them and show tremendous compassion and love in the it's not my religion, but it's certainly Joe Biden's in the Christian and Catholic faith. And Jill Biden to do the same thing for her stepson, who she's raised since he lost his mother in a car crash before Joe Biden even was sworn in as, as a senator. That is the kind of, if you're taking the measure of the man and the fiber of his being, that is Joe Biden. And if he ran away from his family, if he ran away um, from his children, uh, people would be um, concerned. You hear Republicans saying he doesn't care about his own family. They can't say that because they can't be the party of family values, not when the leader of their party is Donald J. Trump, you know, uh, cheated outside the marriage on multiple occasions, uh, married and divorced several times uh, and the like. Uh, I mean, this is the part of the intersection of law and politics, it just gets my goat, that Donald Trump and the people around him try to use the weakness and failings of other human beings. In this case, Hunter Biden in the grips of drug abuse and drug use to their political advantage. I mean, it's craven, it's crass, it's disgusting, it's immoral, and I wouldn't want anybody associated with that to even get within... Um, striking distance of occupying the Oval Office. So the split screen that the Republicans want you to focus on is something like, I don't know, the, the Biden made up imaginary crime family versus Donald Trump's actual kleptocracy and crime family that he's, that he's created. To contrast Melania, who is, um, uh, who is completely absent and derelict in her, whatever her duties are as a, as a wife in support of Donald Trump. I mean, I don't falter for it. I'm just calling it out. Versus Jill Biden standing strong as, as a true first lady, uh, Dr. Jill Biden, and supported supporting both her husband and a child, in this case of Hunter Biden, that she helped raise after the tragedy in his life. That's the kind of family I want to send back to the White House. But I'm not voting for Hunter Biden. I didn't vote for Billy Carter. I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton's brother. I didn't vote for the other guy, the brother of Nixon. I didn't, I didn't vote for um, you know, any of the um, relatives of any of these people. You know, They're all independent people and they make their own paths in life. I'm voting for the person 
who's representing the party. Thumbs up or thumbs down. We got to cover this stuff. We got to cover everything about the uh, President Biden, who you heard there in clips, talking about um, properly an out of control President Trump and what could happen next on Legal AF and on the Midas Touch Network, on podcast platforms of your choice, on video versions here on YouTube and on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time on a show we like to call the Legal AF Podcast. So if you like what I'm doing, I'm Michael Popak. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And then you can follow me on all things social media at MS Popak and find my full body of work at um, Midas Touch YouTube under playlists or contributors at Michael Popak. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legal AF. That's patreon.com slash legal AF.